Hello everyone, a message here from Rebirth Energy, who are raising US$8,500 for DJI Mavic surveillance drones for the 57th Separate Motorised Infantry Brigade. Currently, $4,987 have been raised out of 8500 needed. Rebirth Energy is a charitable foundation in Ukraine, providing all manner of life-saving and humanitarian aid. Any help would be greatly appreciated. Now yesterday, I covered the downing of a Kinjal missile, the first one confirmed intercepted. It was a bit of a strange saga, the image and the news first broke in Ukrainian media. Then, a Ukrainian official denied any missiles being in the air on May the 4th, when this was said to have happened. However, we now have a new update from the commander of the Ukrainian Air Force, Mykola Oleshuk, and I hope I pronounced that name right. Now, I have translated this statement into English, and I will read it. I congratulate the Ukrainian people on a historic event. Yes, we shot down a non analog dagger. Patriot. It happened during the night on May the 4th in the sky of the Kyiv region. The dagger released from a MiG-31K over Russia. The next bit here didn't translate too well, so I'll skip below. We'll definitely say what, where and when we were shot down, all in good time. When you hear loud explosions in the air, my daughter every time calms her neighbours with the words calm down, our air defence is working. Talk to your neighbours and help each other in the future difficult moments. Believe in our air force, believe in air defence. Ukraine will win. So, it's confirmed. The first loss of a Kinjal hypersonic missile. A missile which Russia claimed was invincible. And a bit of a shocker to the shills, trolls and bots who jumped on Ukraine's earlier statement saying no ballistic missiles were on the air on May the 4th and claiming this wasn't a Kinjal. Even more importantly, it was Patriot showing that NATO and Western SAM systems are capable of intercepting the invincible hypersonic Kinjal. Given Patriot's success here, hopefully Ukraine can be supplied more batches of them. The US supplied a battery, as did Germany, with the Netherlands announcing in January this year that it would send two launchers and missiles. I believe these launchers would be integrated into the existing batteries, or maybe kept as spares. A Patriot battery consists of a radar, engagement control system, power generators and up to eight launchers, each with four missiles. At least one of the batteries sent to Ukraine has been confirmed to be fitted with Pac-2 missiles, which have a range of 160 kilometers, shown here in this map with the launcher base in Kyiv, though I have no idea where exactly the Patriot batteries are actually based. That is a closer kept secret but it could cover as far north as Chernihiv. Kyiv is also protected by other SAMs. I believe RST and NASAMs are also here. Now the Kinjal hypersonic missile is launched by the MiG-31K. Around 10 MiG-31Ks are in service. In my initial video, I said the Kinjal was launched from over Belarus, which has been the case in the past. But Ukraine has said this one was launched over Russia. Highlighted here are a few of the air bases in this region, Bryansk and Tula operating cargo aircraft, Belgorod being very close to the Ukrainian border, so I doubt it would be from them. But I did find a news report from April the 7th reporting on the movement of MiG-31Ks from Belarus, saying they're most likely headed to Kaluga, shown here to be almost 600 kilometers from Kyiv. So this is looking like the most likely air base where MiG-31Ks are now launched from. So that's it for this video. Some excellent news here, and I hope you found the video interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again, and take care everybody.